Good morning and happy Monday. This is Kurt Berglund with my Monday book review. And we do this every Monday. A book that might be a new book. It might be an old book. It might be a book that you know. It might be a book that you don't know, but that would be worth checking out. Could be fiction, could be nonfiction. And this is a nonfiction book that we are reviewing today and showing you. The Sons of Summer by Michael Dalt. It is a book, uh, I have not reviewed a fiction book yet, so I don't want to give spoilers uh, to you. Uh, but there are, the book is just short of 250 pages. It is a book about a family. Uh, it is a book about different sons within a family, and baseball is the backdrop to the um, to the story. It is uh, the 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 sons are from a town in America that could fit really anywhere. Uh, the book has a lot to say about um, about American culture and about baseball and baseball's role in that culture. But the number one thing that, that I think the book really hit home to me about is the relationship between fathers and sons and the unique role that baseball sometimes plays in that um, and sometimes doesn't. Um, it spoke to me because my own relationship with my father has been or was very uh, difficult and that's reflected in this book too, uh, the complexity of the relationship between father and sons, but baseball is like a thread that runs through it. So it's not a book really about baseball, but it's a book that has a heavy, heavy baseball component. There's lots of positive reviews on this book uh, online uh, and certainly on YouTube. Uh, it's It's a book that's been widely read um, and I really liked it but I'll tell you the thing that I liked the most about it um, Michael Dalt knows how to write and his use of language uh, not only reflects insight into American character especially the American male but also insight about how language works. His language is very descriptive. He shows uh, the complexity of the relationships of his characters uh, by using his language in a very effective way. Uh, I really was uh, struck by that reading the book. Um, this writer knows how to write. And a lot of times when I pick up a work of fiction, I get 50 pages into it and I'm not sure that the person really knows anything about the English language. You won't feel that way after reading this book. Um, so I encourage you to check this out. It's a little less than 250 pages. Um, it is uh, available online as uh, as a uh, an electronic format for less than ten dollars if you want a hard copy you can pick it up for between in the teens uh for this book uh if you want a hard copy of the book for, to read if that's how you prefer to read it's how i prefer to read um i'm of the generation that uh, uh ebooks if i have to i will but I prefer to, to hold something in my hand that has pages. And if you do, then uh, you'll be in the teens somewhere to, uh, to pay for this one. Um, so it's a baseball book, but it's not a baseball book. It's a book about fathers and sons. It's a book about families. It's a book about America. And it's especially a book about towns in America, cities in America, and how America's been changing since, I don't know, the, the mid 70s or so, or thereabouts to today. Um, wonderful book, encourage you to pick it up. The Sons of Summer by Michael Dalt, um, an excellent read.
Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more book reviews and baseball content. Got a lot coming up this week. Uh, tomorrow, I'll be doing an unboxing. I'm sorry, no, I'll be doing a demo of 4th Street Baseball, basic version, and I encourage you to check that out. Might be something that you'd be interested in picking up. So thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, have a wonderful day. So long, everybody.